It looks nice, but the rest of my face is looking kind of odd. If you were new to my channel, my name is Ohema. Welcome. My hands are ashy. Give me a second. If you are a returning subscriber, hey! <laughs> I know that we've all seen Jackie Aina's foundation routine. The way she does her foundation just like entrances me. Like I just keep wondering what is it that she's putting on her face? Like I like how she puts it on. I like how it looks in the end only because I don't apply my foundation that way. So in today's video, we are going to try to recreate the way Jackie Aina does her makeup. That's why I have these swatches on my face. I will link the video that I am using to recreate this down below. So definitely go ahead and check it out. Also, all the products and brushes and sponges that I'll be using tagged right here. So definitely click that view products tag and check out the product. YouTube has done the price comparison for you. So you're going to be able to find the best price on the internet without searching multiple sites. Okay, go ahead and jump into... Okay, I don't have my brow freeze next to me, but the Juvia's Place brow gel actually holds my, my brow hairs up. So I'm just going to use that to brush them up. Of course, I'm one of those people that does my eyeshadow before my foundation. Jackie did her eyeshadow before she actually did her face, so I think I'm going to do that too. So now that my brows are done somewhat, I'm going to go ahead and clean it up with a skin tone concealer. Hopefully this is not too dark for my eye area. Okay, it's a little light, but that's fine. So Jackie Color Correct around her mouth. We're going to be using the Fenty Beauty Pumpkin. I don't have like that much of a color difference on my face, but I do feel like, and actually she doesn't put any under her eyes, but I'll just leave mine. Okay, so she blends it in with a brush, but hers is also more liquid than mine. I have a whole video on how to use this product, so definitely check down below. Um, She likes to set it with some powder, and this is the sponge that she uses to set everything on her face. Benai Chestnut is back. Jackie's powders are generally the same shade as her skin tone. So I'm gonna use an actual skin tone shade powder for me. This is the Benai Ebony powder. I'm gonna add a little bit of this on top of it just to give it that more um like skin tone like look. I'm gonna sit under my eyes as well. She also puts powder on her nose and her forehead. I'm going to be mixing two powders together today under everything so that it matches my skin tone more. Let's go in with the next step which is to conceal under the eyes with a skin tone concealer. Anytime she blends in her concealer I can barely tell that she has anything on. I'm very interested in seeing what this would look like compared to my regular makeup routine. Okay then she goes in and blends in with a blending sponge. Make sure your sponges are always damp. Right under my eyes right here it's very light and then the rest of my face is kind of dark but using the skin tone concealer concealer actually has evened everything out. She adds a different lighter concealer. I'm going to be using the Sephora Best Skin Ever. I'm going to go in with the 66 the first, but then she goes in with another concealer. It looks nice, but the rest of my face is looking kind of odd. Anyway, I'm going to go in with the lighter concealer because she goes in with an even lighter concealer. This is the one that she puts on her entire face and she only uses a little bit of it. I feel like this is where everything is going to come together. <laughs> Let's just blend this in and see where, where we end up. My face is looking like I have contour on, but it's just my skin. So I have three concealers under my eyes right now. It doesn't feel like I have three concealers under my eyes. It just looks really flawless. She didn't blend the foundation, the concealer on her nose, but I feel like I just need to like tap it in a little bit. We're just gonna go with it, okay? We're gonna go with the flow. She takes a clean brush to her nose and she just like clean, does this with the brush. She doesn't actually blend the concealer on her nose she just like blends it only the edges of the concealer out okay and then she takes her bronzer i'm using the lys cream bronzer so i'm taking a little bit of it and she takes it right here into her brows with a bronzer this is how i also contour my nose i don't like to contour my nose with actual contour shades we still haven't done foundation yet okay <laughs> Let's go in with some foundation just to blend out all this underpainting and we'll see what it looks like in the end. Okay, I'm going to use the Sephora Collection Best Skin Ever Foundation. This is the shade 68N and what Jackie does is she pumps it directly onto her brush. I'm using two pumps. I feel like it might be too much with two pumps. I'm just going to take some off now. And then she likes to spray it with her setting spray. 
spray. I'm using the Sephora Collection Makeup Setting Spray. And then I'm gonna go in and apply the foundation to my skin. Instapop Face Brush. I don't think she goes over all, like, everything on her face. Of course, her video is, like, edited so it skips and it doesn't show you the whole entire foundation blending process. But you can see that as I'm adding the foundation to it, everything is looking very seamless, very gorgeous, and very blended. She goes in with, like, a regular setting powder, and then she goes in with an even brighter setting powder. I feel like we're starting to look a bit cakey here, but we're gonna trust the process. I'm gonna use the Ben Nye Dolce powder and then she puts that on her under eyes. What I think the yellow powder is doing is adding brightness to my face without me needing to have added the brightness with my concealers. Okay, so she goes in with a powder foundation. This is the One Size Deep Six and her skin tone setting powder, but I don't want to do that. So I'm just gonna go in with only the powder foundation and she just goes over all the parts other parts of her face that she didn't set and then she goes in with a setting powder to do a reverse contour next we go in with a brush to brush off the powder and then we add blush to forehead and cheeks and then we set jackiana likes to have the setting spray fall on her face instead of her spraying at her face good i was so worried i was so worried as to what my face was gonna look like um i can see my concealer right here it's looking really nice my base looks flawless okay you guys like i am impressed with what my base looks like listen i don't know what i was expecting but i look nice like i it looks really good. Um, of course, the nude eye is like nude, um, but my base looks way better than I thought it was going to look. My only thing is that my around right here, there was too much powder for the contour cutting or the reverse contouring. When I do it, I generally only put the powder like right here. That way it doesn't take over the brownness that is around my jawbone. Um... That is like the only thing that I will say. Like if this is your regular routine, it would be so easy for you to do it like without thinking about it because that's how you do it. And for once in my makeup journey, I don't have a shadow on on the on the upper part of my lip. That is impressive. I'm happy about that. I my under eyes look really 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 good to the point where I don't see any darkness peeking through and usually when I just do the one concealer method I feel like my under eyes need a little bit more help it's not cakey it's not flaking it doesn't look powdery and I have what two different types of powders on my face the only thing I don't like is right flat the rest of it though like if i had to rate jackie aina's a found if i had to rate jackie aina's foundation routine from an omg yes we're doing it to uh what in the mm, is this i will rate this oh my god yes we're doing it let me know down below in the comments what you think let me know if you're gonna be trying out jackie aina's way of foundation routine thank you guys so much for watching and love you lots and i'll see you in my next video bye